Why did I lie about a hate crime? I didn't lie about a hate crime. So pity patty, they say that I lied about a hate crime, which I never said. It is a hate crime. Um, what happened to your flag? And we're like telling them and they're like, that's a hate crime. And we were like, yeah, I know. Hi, everyone. It's Katie without a crystal ball. How are you? I'm good, I guess. So yesterday was interesting. And um, there was some stuff that happened at my house and it wasn't like a humongous deal. And I went on and I did a video about it and I just let people know that um, we were having some problems with one of our flags and some of our neighbors and um we were like i was just seriously just sharing like what happened um mostly because i don't know i don't know like i don't think that kind of behavior is okay and um i ended up getting yes so this morning i ended up getting a phone call and it was from the deputy sheriff I think in my area yeah and they were like they left me a phone a message and they were like oh hey um Katie um we just got a phone call from someone who watches you I guess you have like a social media following and they are concerned about your welfare and we just needed to call and check in um on you and I was like, what? And they said, yeah, um, somebody called and they said that you were posting on social media and they were worried for your safety. And I'm like, what? Like I was gonna maybe hurt some, I don't even know if they thought I was gonna hurt myself. Hang on. I'm sorry, I had to tip the dogs out. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so I had to like, um, yeah, Frida's definitely making sure that mommy's okay. So here's what happened. Yesterday there was some, some stuff that happened with a neighbor and then I put online like kind of what happened and what the resolution was and moving forward what we're going to do and just to sort of like, I don't know, advocate for myself, speak up, not be silent, that kind of stuff. And um, I guess somebody watching thought that I was like... <laughs> I don't even know. This is insane to me. So the deputy calls and they say that this is what they said. They said somebody who is in Louisiana, a woman, told them that they were worried for my safety because of something that I posted online and that because of that, they needed to come to my house and perform a welfare check on me. Seriously. I was like, what? Are you kidding me? So <clears throat> the deputy says, is anything going on? Like, I know we were out there yesterday and I said, no, everything's fine. I mean, ever since what we had going on, it's nothing's wrong. And he was like, well, why would, are you fine? And I was like, yeah, we're fine. I mean, everything's good. They sh ended up calling me. I had to like call the deputy and then they had to put me in touch with dispatch and then my phone isn't working and then I had to like call back and then I finally talked to him and he basically explains that because I posted this thing on social media they had to check to make sure that I was okay. And then that got me thinking like what did I post yesterday that would have actually made you feel like I was not safe? Like I understand that people get concerned about life and like vloggers, we're no different. I mean, this channel is a mix of me and content and I've never um, been just like one thing. So I definitely share things that are going on in my life if I feel like 
it's worth sharing. And what happened yesterday was something that I felt like I wanted to share, but I was definitely not expecting anyone to like contact the police because by the way, they had just been at my house and everything had been settled down. Things were calm. Like I have a husband, <laughs> we have nurses in our house. Like we put our son to bed. I mean, there wasn't anything really to check on, but I was not overwhelmed, upset. I so I was tearful on my live, but tears don't equate not being safe. And what is being tearful, responding to Kate, whoever that is in the live chat, what is being tearful on a live stream? How does that equate to sending police to somebody's house to do a welfare check? It doesn't. It doesn't at all. Um, not even remotely close. And I knew it was because of the flag, but he finally just said it. Today, he finally said it. The flag has been ripped since we put it up. They've bent the flagpole. Our house has been egged since we put that flag out. They've silly stringed our house. They've threatened to kill our dogs. Today he threatened to kill our dogs and he threatened to kill us. And he's riling up our neighbors. And then they called the cops on us. And it's like, we didn't do anything. And then they came here and they're like, you didn't do anything. And I said, they, they said we, they said it's cause you have that fucking flag out there. Like, are you serious? It's 2020. A pride flag. A flag for my friend JB. Can I tell you a story? I know my neighbors watch this channel. They just, they're like that. We put up a pride flag because I'm like gender fluid, or not gender fluid, uh, I'm sexually fluid. Um, bisexual, I don't even know. I'm married in a hetero relationship, let's just say that, but I like find a woman attractive. But uh, anyways, and I will be with my husband until he dies because he's eight years older than me and then we'll see what happens. But uh, in terms of, and I, that doesn't mean I'm gonna kill him you guys or that I'm waiting for him to die. I literally love him, okay? So um, we put up a pride flag to honor me, honor my friends, and you know what my neighbor did in response? He hung a Trump flag. And it's like, then he put it out on a flagpole. Like he literally put a flagpole now in his front yard and he raised it up and he put a Trump flag under his American flag. And his, his house is right like staring at us. And I'm pretty sure he's like doing this purposely to me. It's ridiculous.